My belief is that every kid in the world deserves at least one adult who is irrationally committed to their welfare. It didn't hit me as much until I saw the actual thing on TV. Wow, did I really do this? The kids have been fantastic as they allow me into their lives. I get to encourage them to do good things. Hello world, got something to say. You think how much somebody changes from the time they're 12 to the time they're 17. The kaleidoscope, the rainbow of personalities that emerge. And by working with these kids consistently over the years, I was able to watch their maturity. What we wanted to do was to have people who cared enough about kids to become mentors. They all brought talents. They were interesting to the kids. I remember that one day when he walked in to the class and introduced himself to all of us. He wanted to know more about us. Living in that kind of neighborhood, it's so easy for you to use that as an excuse to give up. We talked about writing a song and started it that day. And it snowballed into a creative collaboration between this group of 35 kids and me. He would call kids at home. He would speak to their parents. If you want something done, you ask a busy person, because someone who's not busy will never have the time. I never thought I would sing for the governor or, or go to these different events and meet different people. We don't think like that living in the community that we live in. Other people around don't think that we can do anything with ourselves. I love to see people just rise and become something of themselves. Listen to me because love is everywhere. Bring it down to your level and show us that you care. Love isn't just here. It is The Faux Shade Choir is a perfect example of the kind of program we need spread all across America. Wonderful kids come together. They learn from each other, they mentor each other, they teach each other. Something that gave the group positive energy was each other, ourselves. We thought of it like, if you're going to college, I'm going to go to college. You know, it was positive peer pressure among the group. And when the kids finish, everybody inexplicably leaps to their feet in this standing ovation. It was a very emotional moment for me, I remember, because it was totally unexpected. We'd never performed before, we were just a bunch of kids. From the first event in 1998, we were booked for a solid five years, I think a total maybe of 50 different events. My partner at Fauché was Regina Boutte who made it very, very easy for me. The whole process is a collaboration between the two of us in terms of the organization. She brought the kids to every event. All I had to do was show up. Tom is a very down-to-earth person. We actually didn't know for a really long time that he controlled a lot of power and that he could do all these amazing things and that he was really, someone really important. A child or a student would do anything for you if they like you. I can say with this man, they loved him. Her baby cries for love and affection. She dreams. When someone else comes into a child's life and supports them in an educational, nurturing way, it just gives that kid a different perspective on what they can do, on their self esteem. Ian, nice to see you. There you go. You gotta look your man in the eye. It's so, so important. And you're gonna be I'm the one with the future so bright. Every child has a gap, has a space in their life that a mentor can fill. The fear that you don't have something to give, you gotta get over that right away. Because you do have something to give. Now the time is right. Will you be a friend of mine? I have a mentor right now, and he's the vice president of Universal Music. So I just want to know, in your opinion, how important is it to have a mentor? I hope that uh, your mentor is as wonderful and beautiful and uh, magnificent as mine. The mentoring really helps us to get through that struggle. You know, if we have somebody who's there on a consistent basis. I need more ideas from you. I wasn't really like the type of guy that would be like, I'm going to go to college. I didn't really care. 
I was introduced to Tom. They inspired me to go to college. He's always like, what's our plan? You know, let's get it together. Let's stay focused. So I think I love that about him. Who would have thought, like, we would be here 10 years later and be at the place we are today? Look how well